You guys, people have already started shipping. Like on the first night, they're already shipping Daniela and Brian. And I'm not talking about like shipping in terms of, oh, we just like these two people. I'm talking about full blown shipping. They have a hashtag already and they're already attacking some housemates in the house because of this particular ship. So this first night is literally crazy. And I don't blame them because this night is literally the long longest night in the history of Big Brother, the longest first night in the history of Big Brother. They've done a lot of things from play never have I ever to shipping to small bars boats and they are still very much awake. This is five five forty nine. This I can't make in this video. It is like to six. And they are still very much awake. There's no worry. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, please do well to subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that I can get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let's talk about their first night in the house and other things that happen outside of the house. I don't know if you guys have already have already heard about it, but there was a um, there was a mistake that happened from Big Brother or from a team, like Big Brother team. They mistakenly posted. All 24 housemates, including the housemates that will be coming in tomorrow. So it was a mistake on their part. They were supposed to post just 12. It's been taken down now, but you know, trust your people now. They were already um, able to capture it. Let me just name those that will be seen tonight. So now we have Alison. We have Alison. We have Adekunle. Okay, Bella. We also have Bella. Bella is not in the house, yes. So um, three people from here will be seeing them tonight. And then we have Shegs. Shags is one that has been created as in people in fact is already trending on twitter he has been creating um, a lot of buzz i just hope that what has happened this night will not make will not spoil their chances because big brother can decide that oh these people already know them let's not bring in these people because Shags is literally trending like crazy so i don't know i hope they don't change it we've already seen them we have seen it we have seen it there's nothing there just bring them on most of these people they've already brought out their pictures and it's already trending and I'm going to try anyone that ha I have um, his his or her picture. I'm going to put it for you guys. And then we have Dotun, and we have Diana, we have Doi, and then we have Hello Swag, Hello, <laughs> and then we have Giddy Fia, and um, this final page we have Chi Chi, we have Chomzi, and um, yeah, that's all. Let's just see how it goes. Like, let's see how the um, like the launch or the second phase of the launch happens then for the things that have been happening in the house the activities that have been happening in the house they played the never have i ever game for the never have i ever game it wasn't really it wasn't really a lot they just asked a few questions just um they didn't play for a very long time yeah it was just chill it was just cool come again never have i ever cheated on anybody I should come drink, come drink, come drink, 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 drink. Give it in or receive the rock. What does that mean? Okay, give it okay, go on in, go on in or receive the rock. Then um concerning the house, you guys know that I complain about the house and the fact that it looks like some ancient ancient house like that. So um I heard that this is not the main house, right? And you know, based on the theme of this season, they said level up. So I'm guessing that they're going to level up from these trenches. It's gonna be from trenches to you know the city. I trust Big Brother. That's why I was really really disappointed. I trust that they will do well, Sha. So let's just see what Big Brother has in store for us. Um, like maybe the transition that the way they're going to transition from the trenches to the mansion. Maybe you have to do a task or you have to and it's maybe you know but let's just see how Big Brother is going to present it. Then as for the energy in the house and the people that are, that are bringing in the, the kind of energy that I don't even know where it came from. So we had Fina, we had Beauty, right? Fina was just literally like literally all over the place. To the extent that she now started saying things that were like, ah, you just be listening to it and you be like, what's going on here? From talking about the fact that most acquired bomb people, uh, acquired bomb guys, why is it like they like, why is it that they like doing houseboy work? She talked about them like in houseboy work. She's talking about the fact that Daniela has pimples, like um, when she was talking about her first impression about Daniela, to saying that Cassie, that's the married guy, that he has spoiled the show based on the fact that he's married that he has spoiled the show and then you know just talking about the fact that you know she wishes she wishes he wasn't married they're now telling him that he should behave like mike like she was just saying at different points she was just dropping this i was like finna stop like just stop yeah, you're a married man and i feel you spoiled the show but then who am i to fight against a married woman to a married man 
It's just for us to comply and give you the respect that you deserve. As a married man, you're a fine man, beautiful man. Aside from the fact that, okay, you know, there are certain things that she says that are not like maybe that may not come across as being proper, she's also very hilarious. Like she was, <laughs> it's the way she was promoting Guinness for me. She had the, the sticker on her head while she was drinking the Guinness. So, Guinness, you guys should look at Tito. You guys should better sign her because it's almost like she's literally putting it out there. She's trying to, like, you know, shoot or, um, would I say shoot her shots? <laughs> shoot her shots. So, yeah, she's also very hilarious. Then we have Beauty. Beauty is like the, the pro max of, <laughs> the pro max of Fina. For Beauty's own, her voice is very, very sharp. I thought Maria could talk and Maria's voice was sharp. I, little did I know. Fina, come, come here. Calm down, calm down, it's not that serious. Babe, we're here as much as you're here. Does that make sense? Beauties of her voice is very, very, like, literally very sharp. And then it makes it very, very hard to just keep listening to it. I literally had a headache from that. Then for the other activity that I did tonight was the um, first impression challenge. They just talked about their first impressions, um, their first impression about each other. And they started off with beauty. Then um, the general talk for beauty, they were just talking about the fact that she's really pretty and then um, she can hold her own. That's like what most of them said. Yeah, open minded, sweet, and then also you're really articulate, you're well spoken. You're beautiful. Thank you. You've got brains. Thank you. I like the fact that you know you're spoken. The next person that they talked about was Groovy. And for Groovy, it was mostly about like his eyes, his hair yeah it was mostly about his hair like the fact that he's hot he's you know like they gave him like um loads of um compliments the respect <laughs> like lady spec one of the housemates made a statement that um he's the first person that he's seen with pink hair that is able to rock it well and uh, he's a spec you know they really complimented him and all and then his height then for amaka it was mostly about the fact that she's a doubt she get back she get front and all of that that she's um really really like she got that <laughs> basically and then she's a nice person then fina said that she likes amaka because she when she just heard her name she's like she knows that she's an evil girl and she heard that all evil girls they know how to cook especially soup so she now went to pitch her tent with amaka <laughs> then let's talk about the sh the the ships like you know all of them stood up all of them talked for 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 themselves but that was like it was a whole lot so i'm just going to focus on certain things now for the ships that's daniela and brian they had nice things about each other for brian it was just about like okay he knows that daniela is troublesome but she's trying to hide that and then for daniela she was just like um she like you know just getting to see him at first she knows that dark handsome fine you know just just dropping it there she was literally like putting her cat out uh, her cat out there the way the speech came across is like okay you know, there's something here. Your melanin is excess and it's beautiful, right? I loved your hair. I like natural hair. I love it. I loved you instantly. But don't fuck up. We can't change. I saw you're someone who I would connect with, connect with like this. She also said that he looks like somebody that has like somebody that is hairy. That she likes a hairy guy, a guy that has hairy chest, like going all the way then let me bring let me bring to you guys let me bring what i saw that made me feel like oh more people are really going deep when it comes to like the shipping my love um, life tales posted okay daniela and brian right from introduction they were stealing glances at each other less than 12 hours into the show and fan pages are already up i laugh in emma rose you all don't learn <laughs> laugh in emma rose so we have brian and daniela and then we have lovers of brian and daniela so we have two pages already and i'm sure there are more pages this people have already opened fan page for this ship what is what is going on what is going on now um let me bring out the part where they came for beauty they, they like they attacked beauty because of daniela beauty is being a hater please she wants to break daniela and brian and i'm going to Give you guys a gist of how this came came about <laughs> so basically while daniela was giving her speech to brian about like you know just her, her biggest basic speech about the first impression beauty kind of interrupted she was like who are we talking about but daniela heard what are we talking about and she's like it's not a what is a who and then that just um just made them have like a very very little like back and forth 
I'm sorry. Daniela, come I'm sorry. on. I'm sorry. I'm just very angry if I'm talking and you're bringing me. Don't be angry at me. I no, I'm angry at you. Let me watch your scene. Which is the later on it to be like a joke, but the way I'm seeing it, it looks like it's gonna build up from there. I don't know, but you know that was that. That's that. That's the first one that happened. And then it was now time for Beauty to talk about her first impressions about Brian. I think Daniela kind of interrupted. You know, at a point, um, she was. They were all speaking, and I think it was a joke, Sha. But <laughs> Beauty now entered her house. I like, hey, um, called her assistant Brian. You are there thinking your assistant brand girl you can swap mm -hmm. yeah. and i love you so much but i'll tell you the truth anytime i'll give it then like like duh that was deep it got a little bit intense and you know i think uh what they call it beauty was saying is like okay you think you know me the moment you think you know me i'll shock you and all of that like the whole <coughs> the whole thing just got like a little bit intense and this is when she now she was now getting dragged that's beauty was now getting dragged online that she's trying to spoil their clinical i like your piercings because see my ear i'm not a saint all my there was a point where she told um what they call him they, she told brian that she knows him that they have a mutual friend together she called the person's name so he was not like surprised that okay that means we kind of like know each other and all then he now you know he now left um he now left daniela and went to like meet beauty and it was just like a weird situation and before that he told he called daniela his um sister literally sister's own daniela um at a point and i was like you guys see what people are shipping see see i mean i see the people that people are shipping somebody that is already entering the sister zone <laughs> Okay, it's okay, it's fine. And then another um, intense situation that happened the ninth was where Beauty was talking to Fina about her first impression about her. In fact, it was not even this is now left first impression to how she feels about her. It was almost like an attack, you know, because Beauty was now telling Fina that hey, she knows that um she has a lot of energy and all of that but she should be able to allow others talk that she should match her energy that nobody will stay there so she was just literally talking to finna about how she sees her and trying to tell her she should tone, tone it down a little bit it got a little bit intense you guys this is day one and all these things are happening hi listen i'm telling you now i can match your energy but i won't do that so my point is let people talk as much as we let you talk Fina, come so the way that beauty came out the way that beauty addressed this situation was weird like she was talking to her like her younger sister like listen to me come here Just, you know, kind of like, it's not what she said it's how she said it like the way she addressed it so and then what they call it um Fina was not even she didn't even have strength to answer she just said like we day here all of us day here and all of that I'm like, hmm, Beauty did not, she did not pass the message well. Then the worst part is that after she finishes, like when she finished that, what she just said, she would not come and tell you how much she loves you. Like, you know, you know, I love you, but like, you know, <laughs> God, Beauty's gonna be trouble. I'm telling you guys now, early on time, Beauty's gonna be trouble. I love you. See, you may think I'm copying it, but like, I like your energy, I like your vibe. You know why? Because I feel like you're genuine, you're real. And then another another one that happened was when they were talking about Ile Baye. So basically, I'm guessing that some of the guys are feeling her. Um, Brian was talking about like you know the fact that he just likes her and he feels like they're going to chill. Then Groovy was also talking about her, but Groo Groovy's own was a little bit more intense. He was just saying um, she's hot and talking about the fact that their beds, they, their beds are closed. I'm like. Okay, Groovy, we know you said you're a lover boy, but ah, are you gonna start tonight? I just like, you don't worry. Yeah. Go vibe, okay. uh, we'll vibe. That's what I have to say. I love your tattoo. Um, you're hot. You're hot. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, hot, you're hot, 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 hot. People were already shipping Groovy and Beauty at first because they entered together and they were vibing. 
So now, who are you going to ship? Or oh, you're gonna give it two names. For me, I'm just going to keep watching freestyle. I'm not shipping anything. I'm not favoriting anybody. But yeah, just let me know who are you guys feeling at this point. Or are you in a ship already? Or just let me know who you're feeling at this point and how you're seeing it now. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye. I love you.